In this video I will detail how I made Action Thomas. I'll also give you some tips on making a Brewster in many different ways. And cover a very common question about my video making area, jars and all. I received lots of mail for the details on how to make an Action Thomas. And as I said before, I used a blur perspective to pull the good things about Thomas Tank across to Action Chugger, creating Action Thomas. I used a few simple products and processes in the transformation. Faces found on Thomas lollies, stickers from kids sticker books, pin striping, felt tip pen and tape, blue, black and red spray paint. Ah uh, yes, first comes the unscrewing and pulling apart Action Chugger into separate parts so he's much easier to paint. The more I can separate here, the less masking I need to do. I removed the few stickers that were on his body and gave him a good scuff with some fine sandpaper. I'm just simulating the work here as I'm not making a second Action Thomas. Then comes some careful masking around the things I don't want to paint. Doing a good mask up job will save lots of clean up work down the line. His two sets of bogies are painted but not the wheels and don't forget to scuff these up as well. Now it's time to spray blue enamel paint over all of his body and it'll need a few days to dry before moving on to the next step. Next we will add some red paint details, carefully masking up the areas that you want to keep blue. You'll need to scuff the area you're going to paint red again. Then comes the last colour black in two areas. This has to be very carefully done. It's important to paint large enough areas to pull the Thomas Tank look. These black areas are really important so take your time setting these up. Again, scuff around the area to be painted. Let's add the red stripe next and I used automotive pin striping here, adding a single stripe to each side and cutting around the hinged doors. I added the number one by grabbing a number from a kid's sticker book. Detailing around the driver's cab was done easily with a felt tip marker, being very careful to do even work on both sides. For the face I was initially going to use, a Trackmaster Thomas face, but it just seemed a tad small. I found a candy which had some thin plastic Thomas faces in the lids. I resin filled one of these faces and cut a curve into it to suit its new home. To keep it in position, I used blue tack. It was never adhered permanently. Now it's quite alarming once you take the face off Thomas. He looks totally different. It really strips the character away. I've received lots of mails related to the contest where you're set a challenge to complete a short video using Brewster and Thomas. For all those who don't own a Brewster, here are some simple ways of creating him. Lego can pull virtually anything except a reasonable price in Australia. It's easy to knock up a Brewster in this fashion. Using large mega blocks and some googly eyes, here's a giant version of Brewster. This would match up well with the toys which are much larger than the Trackmaster series. I like an abstract mind, and this duck is Brewster as well. It's all in the blue, yellow, and crazy eyes. Paint up a small plastic bottle, slap it onto your favourite fire truck, and here's a happy go lucky Brewster. Ah, yes, here's a well disguised Trackmaster Diesel. Using coloured plastic tiles and googly eyes, I've used double sided tape and blue tack for a totally reversible makeover. A take along diesel with coloured tape and googly eyes. It's so simple to do this sort of Brewster. A painted $2 plastic toy with yellow tape and large googly eyes. You can send all sorts of messages to Chuggington in this manner. A very simple plasticine model. Even this tells me it's Brewster. You could set this down in any wheel sets you have to make it mobile. You can use coloured felt, cardboard, tape, paint. It's not difficult to make a Brewster if you haven't got one. Well, I've done a bit of a tidy up of my review area and I get a lot of questions from YouTubers about what's in those jars, Leo. Can you show us those jars? So I'm going to have a bit of a peep at those very quickly. Well, all they are is an instant coffee jar of a brand that I quite enjoy. We won't mention brands here because then people will say, oh, you were paid to say that. Well, I've got some Pez there, some miscellaneous glitter, and some Estes rocket motors. Some Kinder Surprise toys, some firecrackers, and more Kinder Surprise toys. Something there from my wedding day, some Halloween stuff, and some more Kinder Surprise toys. If you know my videos, you'll recognize that from a few of them. Some party poppers and some cool looking little die cast trucks. The centerpiece, the Pez Thomas collection. Miscellaneous colourful toy, a bendy giraffe and some Warner Brothers characters. A soft Mr. Potato Head. More Kinder Surprise toys and a very squashed up Elmo. 
my Wallace and Gromit collection. I'll bring some extra light in for this one. It's all the wheels from my Ertl conversions to HO. There's a heap in there. Some more Kinder Surprise toys and some miscellaneous bits and bobs. There's some bits in there from Matchbox toys. Some matchboxes that were seen in the Big Mac video and some clear marbles. There are those Lady Die matchboxes again that my mum had that helped me prove that matchboxes haven't changed over time. And I've gone and I've redone all the toys along the top and it's amazing you'll get people and they, they come to me and they complain. I send me a PM saying, oh we hate all those toys. And then you look at their channel and these people don't make any videos and it's just a troll channel so I'm not going to listen to advice like that. There's now a dedicated Thunderbirds corner. The opposite corner is now Thomas and Chuggington toys. And along the ways is just a very merry mix of mixed up toys. I'm actually quite surprised on how many comments the toys in the background get. And I sort of did this because I didn't want to have a bland background. I wanted a little bit of eye candy when I was showing stuff. And it's usually it's just out of focus and I tend not to light it too much. So the main focus is what you're showing people. But I just think it lifts the whole environment where I do my reviews and show people how to make things. And if you know my videos, you'll recognize a lot of the things here are from the videos that I've made in the past. It's amazing just how a few small toys can really lift an environment. And if you were to ask me which one's your favorite, it'd have to be this X-Wing fighter, which was in a Burger King kids mill. And it's got a neat little action where the wings open up. And you've got to ask yourself, why don't we get toys like that in the fast food giants kids meals anymore? I get a lot of questions about this mat that I use. Um, it's a cutting mat and I'll show you one. Well there's one in the packet and there's a couple of other ones which are smaller and a different colour and you've got to really be careful when you're buying these because there's a huge variance in price. This large A2 mat, I've seen them for as much as $30 so you have to really go to the right shops to pick these up. No, this is not that for the reject shop, it's just where I bought these from. It's as simple as that.